Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. I'm not sure if we've mentioned this before, but Tom's a big Blue Jays fan. So today, we're going to head down to Real Sports Bar, one of Toronto's biggest and best sports bars, to grab a bite to eat. Then, we're going to walk over to the Rogers Centre to catch the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Texas Rangers baseball game for a home opening weekend. Woohoo! Can't wait! So come on, let's go check it out. To start our Blue Jays day, we walked over to DuPont Station to catch the subway downtown. Once the doors opened, we walked onto the subway and found a spot to sit. We rode the subway for about 15 minutes on our journey downtown. Love how you can see all the way through the cars. Then, after that short subway ride, it was time for us to get up and get off at Union Station, which is Canada's biggest train station. The subway doors opened and we stepped off the train. Then we walked through this area between Union Station subway area on the right and its rail yard train station on the left. We're going to head left and make our way inside through Union Station on our way to Real Sports Bar. After walking through Union Station, we made it over to the Scotiabank Arena, which is where the Toronto Raptors and the Toronto Maple Leafs play. But let's keep going to get some food. If you want to stay inside, you can walk through this bridge connecting the arena to the Maple Leaf Square condos, which is where Real Sports Bar is. If there's any sort of game on, make sure to make a reservation or go early to make sure that you get into Real Sports. We made a reservation and showed up there 15 minutes before it opened to make sure that we got a table before the Blue Jays game. It's quite an impressive experience walking through this narrow hallway which opens up to this massive space filled with a giant TV screen in the middle as well as some 200 TVs all around so you can see the game from every angle. We started with a couple pints of Molson Canadian which hit the spot nicely. For the mains, I had the Nashville hot chicken sandwich with buttermilk jalapeno marinated crispy chicken, honey mustard slaw on an ace bun with a side of fries. And Tom had the six burger with two four ounce ground brisket and chuck patties, maple bacon, American cheese, RS sauce and a side of fries. The massive six burger definitely needs two hands and tasted excellent. The Nashville hot chicken sandwich was also quite big. and. I pretty much had to dislocate my jaw to take a bite, but it was crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside, and very tasty. We'd highly recommend it. After we finished our meals, we noticed the real sports bar had filled up with people watching the soccer game or about to go to the Blue Jays game. Then we drank our beers and enjoyed the atmosphere at Real Sports. Overall, we really enjoyed our time and the food here and would definitely recommend it for sports fans. But let's keep going and follow the crowd over to the Rogers Centre for the main attraction. The Toronto Blue Jays vs Texas Rangers home opening weekend baseball game. On our way to the Rogers Centre, we walked by the Ripley's Aquarium of Canada and passed some street performers to get to the square in front of the stadium. Here, you'll find some vendors selling the classics like popcorn, peanuts, cotton candy, and street meat. But we've already eaten, so let's head over to our gate. We were lucky enough to get some pretty good tickets for this game in the 100s level, so we'll be heading over to gate 5. After the quickest security check we've ever been through, which took only about a minute, we made it inside the stadium. We arrived at the Rogers Centre about 45 minutes before the first pitch. And as you can see, it was already pretty busy. After we got our bearings, we walked over toward our section 117. After we got over to section 117, we made our way past security and down the stairs towards our seats. Wow, what a great feeling walking down into the stadium after all these years. Even with the roof closed, the stadium looks huge. But let's keep going down a few more rows, down to our seats in row 17, seats 1 and 2. Then we sat down at our assigned seats and enjoyed the spectacular view. Amazing! I don't think we've ever had seats this good before. 
While we were waiting for the game to start, we noticed that the Blue Jays mascot, Ace, was there for a meet and greet with the fans. So of course, we had to make our way down so that we could say hello. After a short wait, it was our time to say hello to Ace and time for a quick video selfie. Thank you very much to the kind lady who filmed this for us. Next, it was time to stand for the American Anthem, which was then followed by a beautiful rendition of the Canadian National Anthem. And now, we're ready to start the baseball game. Let's go Blue Jays! Shortly after we sat down, the Toronto Blue Jays scored their first run of the game. Woohoo! It feels good to be back watching the boys of summer. Next, it was time for the Blue Jays to go to the outfield and time for the Texas Rangers at bat. So we took the opportunity to grab an ice cold Budweiser beer. Thank you, sir. What a great way to spend an afternoon. Watching a home game with a nice cold beer and great company. What more could you ask for? Well, I guess you could maybe ask for a three-run home run for the Jays. Oh yeah! What a great start to our first game back to see the Blue Jays. Might be a little early, but I think these Jays are going to win the World Series this year. Uh, let's not get carried away, Tom. After a few innings, I was getting a little hungry, so I got in line for some food. Since we're at a baseball game, I had to get one of their famous footlong hot dogs. After about 45 minutes in line, I finally got my footlong hot dog and made my way back down to our seats. I got the footlong hot dog with all of the toppings and added ketchup and mustard on top. Overall, the famous footlong hot dog was just alright. Somehow, it wasn't hot. But I was hungry, so I still ate the whole thing. Next, it was time for the seventh inning stretch. At this point in the baseball game, the Texas Rangers had taken the lead over the Toronto Blue Jays. So it was nice to get up and stretch out with everyone else in the crowd. And after that, it was time to sing the classic song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, which Tom belted out perfectly. Then, the Blue Jays mascot, Ace, came back out to try to pump up the crowd to hopefully get the Blue Jays back into the game. Unfortunately, the Blue Jays ended up losing the game to the Texas Rangers 12-6. So after the last pitch, we got up and tried to leave at the same time as everyone else. Even though the Blue Jays lost, we still had a great day at Real Sports Bar and the Rogers Center. It was so nice being able to finally watch the Toronto Blue Jays again in person after all of these years. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some more games before we head back to Montreal. Well, we really enjoyed making today's video. Mind you, it would have been more fun if the Blue Jays had won, but that happens. Anyway, thanks for coming along with us. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on our future videos. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps our channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.